Today, I have the distinct pleasure of speaking with Joel Friedman from True Precious Metals. How are you today, Joel? I'm doing well yourself, Tracy. You know, I, I wish sometimes our, the Investor Intel audience could hear conversations before an interview. So why don't we just start on that pre-interview uh, conversation with what attracted you to this industry? You've got a, a doctor of law from Western University. You've run a, a merchant bank. What made you the CEO of a publicly listed exploration gold play and movement? Um, I decided to draw on my business degree and my law degree to set up a merchant bank. I quit like a stable middle management legal counsel in-house job at a large financial institution to set up resurgent capital because I thought we could take a different approach to how we run junior public companies, bringing companies public, helping with RTOs, shell restructurings, and True was an inactive company that I was running. We were, myself and some of the co-founders and partners were thinking, what should we do with this company that would make it interesting? And we decided to pick up a gold property in central Newfoundland. Newfoundland for your audience is where I'm trying to get it. Something like there. Very t- looks very tiny on the map. But we, we realized this would be an area with really good runway based on other companies exploring there. The gold price, there's a lot of macroeconomic factors. I mean, if you want to say non-traditional things, there's a lot of macro factors for gold, which makes it a good investment case. And we thought we should pick up a property and see where it goes. That was eight months ago. Since that time, we've been rifling off property acquisitions, five and five months, raised three and a half million dollars. We're in the midst of oversubscribed financing. We're in the midst of another financing. We're looking at property MA. We've built a team of almost 20 people. It like it's cool what we're doing. And the reason so why to, to go into gold is we kind of set off on this direction because we thought it might be a good idea. But now that we're in the midst of it, we are, I recognize even, and the reason I bought into it so much, in addition to actually being a shareholder, the reason I bought into the idea is we are in a, a once in a lifetime modern day gold rush. This is like California back in the 1800s, but it's happening right now in little Newfoundland in Canada. And I'm the CEO of our junior mineral exploration company with like a fantastic team, property portfolio, well-financed. It's a cool opportunity. It's like, it's a genuinely interesting opportunity. And I think we're well-positioned with some of our properties where we actually got in ahead of a lot of the rush. So we actually find ourselves in a very good competitive position. That makes it a very interesting opportunity for me to throw myself into and our team to, to, you know, to, to deliver her really. So did I hear you right? You perceive there to be, or there is a gold rally starting to happen in the Newfoundland area with gold exploration plays. Yeah, that's right. The, I mean, area play is the general strategy of people just setting up there. We think we've, we've landed in particular two properties that are not just the right area, but very much on the right street without getting into the, all the, the, all the geology. We think they're very strong properties on a geological level. But if you look, you know, and from an investment perspective, if you look at some of the other companies there that are coming out with great exploration results, you know, there's some deposits uh, around us. The share prices are performing as well, right? Because ultimately we are a public company. We do have to deliver a return for investors. Some of the companies around us that are further ahead than us are doubling, tripling in price over the last three months. One of them has cracked a billion dollar market cap. It's, It's getting too big to be ignored. Um, and so we're kind of in here, we're just really relaunching after a major transaction and financing. And so, you know, separate from just the area play, like we think we have very good land within the company, um, but, but a rising tide lifts all ships. And that's what you're really seeing across the region. Unlike, I think, a lot of other areas which haven't captured the, you know, the hearts and minds of not only investors, but also the exploration community. So... Speaking of an aggressive timeline, though, and being at the right place at the right time, you just started trading recently. Is that not correct? That's right. May 14th, we resumed trading. So we've only been back for about three weeks. And it's my understanding that with your merchant bank, you weren't originally going to become the CEO, but you just kind of fell in love with the role. Is that correct? That, that is correct. I, I once heard that the best people for the job are the people who didn't initially want to take it on, um, but it's it, it's it's a once in a lifetime professional opportunity for me as well. I mean, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing here. It's, again, we we wanted to take this an active company, reactivate it, do something interesting that we thought would be a good investment, and you know, an interesting thing to do professionally. 
But now that I'm in the middle of it, I, I recognize the opportunity we have right here, right now, and we have to make the most of it. And so th this, this is what we're up to because like we're, you know, we're in it to win it relative to as much of the field as we can and to really make a mark here and say, you know, we delivered on as many fronts as possible. This was a successful venture, you know, for, for myself, for our entire team. And so in this, in these milestones you've achieved in a relatively short period of time, you've picked up five projects there. You mentioned there was two you were prioritizing and you just announced 1200 meter drilling program at one of the projects, Twilight Gold. Is that correct? Is that the project? Correct me. That's, that's correct. Very good. Uh, our two, our main properties, we have Golden Rose flagship asset. Um, and then we have Twilight Gold where we've just recently announced drilling. It's a minimum 1200 meter program. So you know, we may have the firepower to expand that drilling, you know, especially for people who are less familiar with mineral exploration, drilling is one of the key ways to build value and see what you've got in the ground. Um, and so we think we've set everything up very, very strongly on the corporate side. Now it's time for our exploration team to deliver, see what we've got underneath the ground. And that's the, really the, you know, the value drivers uh, of a mineral exploration company. So we're in the midst of it. We'd be looking for results in, you know, month and a half time from the labs. And uh, it'll be an exciting period in the meanwhile, as we continue to execute the drilling program and wait to see what we've pulled out. Well, Joel, I'll tell you, we've been very impressed with the milestones so far, and we would love to have you back in a month and a half. So thank you so much for joining us today. And for everybody out there, this is true, a precious gold. Thanks very much, Tracy. Appreciate the opportunity.